Are dive agents ruining Valorant? This is the hypothesis Anders proposed in his video. If you haven't seen Anders' video yet, you should watch it. Actually, you need to watch it because otherwise you have no idea what I am referring to. You will find the link in the description below. I also want to note that I agree with much of what Anders has said in that video and in general he's a very smart guy that knows what he's talking about in our game. He has, in general, great analysis, so kudos Anders, you're a real one. In my analysis, I am to discuss a significant issue though in our beloved game that Anders did not mention while doing his hypothesis. One, one that has broader implications. Now, the thing is, hello Anders, um, Anders has a system of classifying agents. I use a different one, so um, we have a small differences here, here and there. If you would like to know mine as well, you can, uh, I will put this compendium into the description as well. But the main thing that comes from the video from Anders is that the space creators in my own compendium are needed to make the game playable because they deliver so much value and in general, well, whatever Anders has said in the video, and you should watch it. I also don't want to like leech off his content. So make sure to watch Anders' video before reacting to mine. And now the thing is, I agree with most what he has said, but he didn't mention one crucial thing, and that is map design. So yes, it's true that the jet dive kind of agents are ruining the game in my eyes as well. But the problem is that not that doesn't come from the fact that they exist. It comes from the fact that we have maps that are just choke point heavy. One of the biggest offenders in this case is Ascent. Ascent is an incredibly simple map. And because it's an incredibly simple map, people like it. So because, you know, it's simple to play. But the problem with simple maps is that they thrive of the same kind of compositions. You have a meta composition on Ascent and 80% of the games are with the same compositions. It's just maybe one different um, initiator because maybe the team doesn't have like fully efficient Sova or something and instead they're gonna play Fade or Kao, right? But in general, it's just always Jet, always Sova, um, Omen, and then we have Killjoy or Cypher, and then the fifth slot is most likely a second initiator. In current metagame, that will most likely be KO because Cyphers are just dreadful to play against after the buff, right? And the problem is that you need the jet, right? Because of this. Like, you just need the jet because of this, 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 and this. Well, actually, this is that's all, depending on which location you go through, right? But the most, most of the of offenders here on this map are just the two points. The two choke points on this map dictate that if you want to go through this small point, you need mobility. Now, the thing is, when you consider all the maps that we have in the pool, right now, almost every single map has the same issue. What else do we have in the pool? Let's take a look. Let's go to bind. Similar problems, right? We have choke points on long B. We have choke points in hookah with different elevation. Then short has a problem as well because the choke point is exposed from a very big angle and you have to dash into lamps to just break that angle, right? Another choke point is entrance of, of showers. Then we go to Haven. Well, we all know how Haven works. Without jet, it's almost unplayable. You need mobility. It's just impossible to attack almost any side. Like, B executes are just Delica dashing onto the top, top of B side almost every time because you need something to just disrupt the crosses because that's the job of the space creators, right? When you take a look at Jet, like space creation and disrupting the crosser position, that's what's needed to make sure that you enter the site, right? And without that, it's gonna be incredibly hard to make an execute because you're gonna get stuck in that small choke point that dictates the way that the defenders are gonna be like just having a, a, a setup being done, right? If there's, pay, pay attention to what happens in your ranked games when you don't have a jet or you don't have a raise or you don't have a Yoru, right? Anyone who can just go from A to B while ignoring the traps that are at the entrance, right? You have to play slowly, methodic, methodically, hard word, and you have to destroy the traps before, engaging, before, engo, before going to site. But with those agents, you can just disrupt the position, go onto site, then Cypher has to take care of the player that is already on site, and in that moment, you have this small timing to enter the site and destroy the traps while you're going in. 
right? And right now the meta game is just fully focused on that next map that we have. Uh, Lotus is actually the best map when it comes to lack of um, mobility needed, but at the same time, you still need to play jet because some of the some of the sites just require that. C without mobility is dreadful to enter because of the amount of traps and and from Kiljo and Cypher there, right? B has a small choke point, and A is a site that doesn't require mobility that much. You can actually enter this site because it's more open space with a lot of nook and crannies, and it's divided into a uh, few. A uh, few potential areas, right? When you consider going to A, you have like few areas that you need to go for first. So you have here, right? The rubble, that's the first area. Then you have the second area that is like simultaneous with tree. And then you go to site. So this is like the fourth area that you clear. And most of your mobility that you have to use is early to get to rubble, essentially, right? But even if you don't have mobility, you can just use a smoke that will allow you to uh just just go into rubble by like smoking here right as an attacker and then you go to rubble and you essentially substitute the, the mobility but then you don't need the mobility when actually going to site because this the the, the site on a uh, on, on lotus a site is actually better designed so it doesn't require the mobility c and b still suck right you can see a pattern here right and then we have split which is incredibly choke pointy right and because of that most teams are playing double dive, double space creation, jet and race, because there's so much, so much space needed to be created while going through those choke points. You just have to do, have that because otherwise the map is just not playable. And now, because of all that, right? Think about the map that didn't require a duelist before, because you could have had so many freedom of choice icebox. There were, there were meta games where not a single duelist was being played. Jet was played in most of the compositions because she was just a broken agent. Still is, right? But she was just such a force to be reckoned with. You can just play her here anyway, right? But none of the sites require you to have a dash in or mobility to go onto sites because they are more cleverly designed. I'm not saying that Icebox is not at fault, right? There are some very bad design choices that had to be corrected and are still not great but in general it's one of those maps that i like because they don't enforce you in this dive playstyle. so you had more to open to, to interpretation strategy as an attacker you could have focused more on smoking mid like you know like there was a reason why i was losing my mind seeing someone play reina for two years on icebox right because why on earth would you do that to yourself? You're just putting someone with no utility at all. It would be better to just play race because of the double satchels as well there, right? But you, why not play double controllers and make sure that you can smoke mid while the Viper has the utility for sight, right? There's, there's so many options that you can do on Icebox. And because of that, also, Breeze was a fantastic map before the rework. Like, I'm, I'm a ma I made a video about Breeze before because it really got me mad. But the thing is, is like... I'm, I'm okay with the mid change. I'm okay with the changes on A side. All of that is actually pretty decent. The B changes are also pretty okay. But the biggest offender of all here, right here on this map, is the fact that we just completely deleted one lane. And that one lane made Breeze unique, but also made it possible to create pressure going onto, uh, uh, to create pressure on this map without using mobility agents. Because Right now, after that, your only way of playing on attack is either you go through choke points again, so you need mobility, and you have to remember cipher traps are gonna be rampant on B side because it's so hard to destroy them. You need shock darts line up um, to destroy the typical indestructible traps from cipher that is on entrance on B, right? So there's a lot of focus on Jet and Yoro right now in my eyes while playing uh, Breeze because going through mid is a pain in the ass. Like, it, it's really uncomfortable to get space on mid if you're not putting pulling pressure as well from A or B side, right? So, because you, it's so hard to pull off rotation, this map is kind of like an ascent, in a way, because of the choke points that you have on mains, and the players that are not holding choke points can just focus on holding mid. So you have a problem... You have an overall problem because of the lack of the one entrance here. And Breeze was hated for such a 
for, for wrong reasons in my eyes before. The map was fantastic if you wanted to be clever about it and to wanted to be, um, let's say, um, creative, right? But unfortunately, we got a breeze when the metagame was chamber, jet, broken, right? Chamber broken, jet broken. Uh, people were playing... Reyna still on this map for some reason. And there were only few teams. I remember One Heart Thieves playing with Brimstone and, and Viper. And I really loved that. I loved the way that you could have played with double controllers because people understood how the, how important is like smoking of nest at the beginning of the round. But why would you sacrifice an orb from Viper there if you have only one smoker? That's why this double controllers there could have been great. And I think the entire change of Breeze was completely unnecessary because teams failed at, ad at adapting to it. And if they would adapt correctly, we could have still play the old Breeze with some small changes, but we will still have the tunnel to make this map still pretty hard for the defenders without to that many choke points. So my point is, the reason why right now Jet Race are ruining Valorant, as Anders would say, is because the maps are just completely focused on having the ability to go through a choke point with the mobility, right? And if you don't have the mobility, you're just absolutely fucked. So, in a way, it's not the problem with the agents, it's the problem with the fact that the maps are forcing us to play those agents instead of the other way around. We should be, like... Ha we should have maps that are more open to um, interpretation when it comes to the compositions that we have. But instead, we ended up, in my opinion, with the more worst map pool in history of Varen so far. Because almost every single one of the maps that we have is so focused on choke points while defending. And the newest map, by the way, just to point it out, has a very similar problem like Breeze right now. B-side not destroyable cypher traps that you have to use utility for. If you don't have Sova, good luck, right? It has to be Raisinade or something, like, okay, a grenade, but it's still, like, you have to do that. Otherwise, you have to focus on another choke point from market that you have to go through, close those, by the way. And then the A site is actually very similar to how Lotus on Icebooks are being built. And this, this, um, uh, this uh, bomb site has few areas that you have to go through, right? This is your first area. This is your like your second area that you have to clear, and then you you go to the fourth area. So they have like segmented uh, segmented the, the site into different um, zones that don't require that much of a mobility, and you can just go piece by piece by checking corners and using utility that is not mobility to make sure that you gain that space, right? But B side, good luck. So in general. Like, I think it's a big problem that uh, apart from Lotus, um, uh, I mean, actually, no, it's still requires Lotus, like I talked about it. Uh, actually, every single map, every single map in our map pool is just focused on choke points and you need mobility. So, yeah, please fix the map design. Our Icebox and Breeze are the way to go. That's my opinion. But the old breeze with some of the changes that we got, but we need the tunnel. Icebox will be great with some mid changes. And I'm not map designer, right? I'm not a map designer, so I don't have like solutions or what to do here. But if the mid, mid region of the map is gonna get slightly reworked, I think actually Icebox is gonna be a fantastic map because we've already seen a lot of changes to the metagame and ideas being like used, uh, different ideas being used on that map. Um, and if we just get rid of the fact that you have to play Sage, hopefully not in the future, you again have a map that is open to representation. You don't need the Jet, you don't need the Race, you don't need the Yoru, um, which I think should be a metagame choice in, in the upcoming 2024 year. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed my little bit of a rant. I know it's not as nicely scripted as Ender's video, but I felt like I had to like address this issue. Um, so, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you have any comments, make sure to leave one below. Bye-bye.